I'm getting him. Here we are, the home of F-Base. My beautiful bride and me, and home <laughs> of F-Base. Hi. We made it. We made it. It's the best thing to come out of Hamilton, Canada, as far as we know. <laughs> so here's a uh, quick overview of the F-Base shop. I'll try to kind of narrate uh, a little bit of what's going on here from when you can't figure it out. But most of what we're seeing here um, is going to be just the construction process from start to finish. And um, while not everybody was in today, I was able to get uh, some decent videos to give you an idea of what goes into building your F base. Some bodies on the go. Ebony fingerboards, rows of fingerboards, maple. Those are all ebony tops. That stack. Now the wood that you have in here is there a reason why? It's, uh, do you have another place that oh, has yeah, wood yeah. as this, well? Is this, this for stuff that's to be getting the, ready to go? No, this is uh, this was our wet room. So anyway, okay. that was really wet. We closed the door and let it uh, dry, dry slowly. Out. Yeah. It'll crack. So all the ebony was in here. Fairly dry now. Get some rosewood. Very cool. And then that carving station. He usually does that. Paul. This is Paul's station. He's okay. Here. He's on holidays. Isn't he? Well, this is it. he grabs the necks and fits into the bodies. I'm sure they fit right in. Um, those are all necks ready to go. Nice. And the cubbies. How many people work here? Six. I think so. Yes, it is. Yeah. Is this yeah. the guy that wanted photos? Do what? Somebody wanted, oh no. Yeah. From oh, nice. AC. Yep. Playing the redwood. Yeah. Very nice. Are those the carving templates down there? Yeah, those are all the templates. <laughs> Yeah. It comes with the territory. Also 
got some five feet plain. That's nice, a little bit of flame on that one. Yeah. Yeah. Five so feet. would this be the back of the neck there? That's, uh, that's the back. fingerboard. No. That's fingerboard. Oh, okay. Fingerboard side. Right? Oh, I see that. Okay. So the back is then going to be like, you know, in there somewhere, obviously, and it's carved away, right? Yeah, it's not going to be carved away. Yeah. Bird's eye. Nice. Oh, bird's eye. Sorry, another bird's eye. And more five piece of next glued up down there. Yeah. I think honking bird's eye board. <laughs> that is a chunk. Oh, fingerboard material. Yeah, we'll make it faster and we'll take out all the wrong, because you weren't supposed to do that, but that's okay. Because I know, I know this kind of stuff. No idea. So once you have it glued up, how long will they sit in this jig here? Uh, about an hour. Okay. And then they sit for two or three more days before we cut them up and move them back up. Okay. This is only the uh, the first stage of getting the wings glued on to the center tape. Okay. So then the center taper gets cut in half. Okay. Put the other wings on in a day or two. After that, we try to let them sit for a couple months. Right, okay. At, at the least. Right. Uh, but as they're over there in the squares, they're there for four or five months. Right. So as the boards come in, they're cutting the strips as long as we can do it. This is step one of three or four. <laughs> Getting on the heat. Yeah, I'll just take that one. That'd be great. I'll take it home with me. It's going to Italy. No, I don't think so. Yeah, it's going so. to Springfield, Missouri. <laughs> By way of Italy? Yeah, let's see the back of it again. Seriously, that is gorgeous. So those are Wenge strips. That is gorgeous. I like that. Beautiful flaming, too. Got it cops here. <laughs> All kinds of exotic tops too. Okay. Whatever. It does, yeah. Oh, that's the base that goes with that neck. That's the base that goes with wow. that. That's awesome. Might look more, more better this way. No, I like it upside down. <laughs> That's awesome. So, Wes, you do all the painting here then? Most of it. Most of it? Yeah. Between him and Dan. You guys do a great job. The, I've been getting lots of compliments, especially on that last burst BN6 that I just got with the, the Macassar board, that six red string. One, red burst. Uh, yeah, I think so it was. Yeah, it's just gorgeous.
setup? <laughs> nah. I got a tech that does all that. Oh, do ya? Oh. On the rare times I need to set <laughs> Mainly Sarah. <laughs> Sarah's the one that really does it. Tom's too busy building his own bases. <laughs> specking him out that he wants. Well, he does a good job from the marshmallow base. Okay, right? Sarah, so what do you do up here? A little bit of everything. Wiring, fret dressing, wet sanding, buffing, assembly, and then we actually pack them up here. Too. Shipping. Shipping. Inventory. So when I'm waiting for my bases to ship, this is where they're getting backlogged? Is that... <laughs> Actually, no. Is that a big deal? I'm blame somebody else. No. It's usually a combination of stuff. Yeah. Parts is a big thing. Because we deal with a lot of little independent suppliers. Right. So right. coordinating all of that and getting everybody to get stuff on time. Right. As you can see, there's a bunch of face sitting missing parts over there. Yeah. I see that. You see that. Yeah, some of them actually are yours. Nice. We're gonna look at those in a second too. That'll be good for sure. <laughs> I don't know if I can say this with a straight face that it's a knob polishing station. <laughs> this is where we get our knobs polished. Nice. All right. <laughs> There's the before and after. Very cool. <laughs> Poutine, yeah, so we've never even heard of that. There's obviously a place, it's, it's supposed to be Montreal, I think it originated. Yeah, it's, 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 it's um, There's a place in Toronto and all of it is called Smokes Poutinery and all they do is poutine. Oh. So you order a poutine with like bacon on it and they literally give you like a pound of bacon on it. Oh my it. gosh. Oh, yeah. See, we're going to be there tomorrow. So. It's sounds healthy. It's disgusting. It's it's like yeah. yummy. But, like, yeah. artery clogging. Yeah. Like yeah. I got lots of arteries. We can clog them. It's all right. <laughs> they, they run all through me. It's good. <laughs> <laughs> I used the real cheese curds there, too, don't they? Yes, they do. Nice. Yeah. See, we couldn't get the poutine last night because they were out of cheese curds. Yeah. So we had to pass on it. I'm noticing this is like the most organized place in the entire shop up here. <laughs> it's like clean, it stuff where it belongs. Yeah. Yeah. The shop is pretty good. Yeah, it's pretty good. It is. This has to be, it's like a clean room. There's more beer right? bottles up here though than I think there was down there. <laughs> um, a whole yeah, yeah, that's what it is. Stuff, little little <laughs> pictures of men that got stick up all over the place. <laughs> <laughs> write things on and they leave on the toilet seat for me. <laughs> It's awesome being the only driver. <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy. Oh, there is a wow, brief wow. period here. That's <laughs> awesome. Birds Eye Board, Evan Yinley's. Now that top is crazy. Birds Eye Neck. Oh my gosh. That neck is nuts. Yeah. And for like a That's awesome. Like, this is like a gate. <laughs> this is nice. That is. That's cool. Yeah. <laughs> How'd you get the bridge? <laughs> had the. Uh, ordered a couple and had it for a while. Don't use them much anymore. Yeah. Oh no, they got the steel ones for the VF. Yeah, Natural AC. Everything else. Run to the mill. Mirrors are over here. San Diego. Bobby. Fret spot. Fret spot and fret spot too. Nice. Black. Ooh, yeah, that one's mine. No pore fill. And the single pickup. Fretless. It's not nice. fretted. Right, okay, the real Black quick. Head stop. That's pretty cool. Nice. Weighs nothing. I think he wanted it. Four pounds or something. Oh, flame neck. Nice. It does permeate everything.
So here, George and I are picking out uh, which uh, woods we're going to use for some custom builds we've got coming up. And uh, here we're picking out fretboards and uh, kind of making suggestions as to what would be better for five strings and six strings. So that's what you're seeing here. Take the, this camera. Okay. Uh, see, we're losing the edges, right? So it's gonna be right down the middle. Uh, no, these are already tapered. Oh, okay. So this, this is what this we think we're gonna get. So here what you're seeing is uh, George and I specking out some custom bases. Uh, uh, these are going to be both BN6s and BN5s. And I started off, I was going to build one. And then we found another top, so we thought we would do two. And then we found another top shortly after that. So, you know, good things come in three. And, well, since we were doing three, then we might as well do four, and then four quickly led to five, and then by the time we hit six, um, I pretty much had to mortgage my children's future, so we had to stop at six. But uh, here we're putting together, uh, we're matching up fingerboards and uh, body woods and all those kinds of things. These bases should be uh, coming out in the next few uh, months. So this video is taken in June of 2011. We got to see the first uh, couple come out in the fall. And then hopefully we'll see some consistently every month after that. And uh, those were the tops we ended up going with. And they are going to be absolutely ridiculous. You can see that bird's eye is insane. All the way on the right there, that's a block of flamed ash. So that's going to be a solid... Um, base out of flame dash. And then here we've got some flame spalted maple bird's eye um, and uh, matching up with different uh, neck woods and things like that. And I can tell you those guys at F Base, they're wonderful people, uh, amazing craftsmen, um, passionate and generous and, and all that they do. And I had a lot of fun being there. And hopefully, you guys had a lot of fun with the video. Thanks a lot.